The dim backstage room hummed with anticipation. A faint scent of dust and old wood filled the air as the young actress Clara carefully applied her final touch of lipstick in the chipped mirror. Her heart fluttered with nervous excitement. Tonight's performance felt particularly crucial. The theatre had never been a beacon of success, but its charm lay in its legacy, carried by the unbreakable spirit of the staff. Every corner of this place seemed to hold a thousand untold stories. Suddenly, the delicate drop of an earring broke her focus. Clara sighed as she saw the tiny glint vanish behind the heavy, ancient dressing table. She knelt, reaching behind the old wood, her fingers stretching through decades of undisturbed dust. The earring eluded her grasp, but instead her fingertips brushed against something unexpected, a brittle corner of paper. Intrigued, Clara shifted the table just enough to pull out a small, worn manuscript book. The cover was soft from years of handling, the edges frayed. She opened it, her curiosity growing. Inside were pages filled with handwritten notes, advice, sketches and diagrams of stage movement. The handwriting belonged to a woman named Beatrice, an actress who had once graced this very stage many years ago. The words on the page breathed life into forgotten wisdom, exercises for vocal projection, the perfect posture to convey confidence, nuances of interpreting each line. Clara's eyes widened as she turned each page. It was a treasure chest of knowledge, a mentor's voice whispering through the decades. Over the next few weeks, Clara spent every spare moment soaking in Beatrice's notes, letting the words guide her growth. With each passing day, she felt an invisible thread tying her to the past. She could almost hear the echoes of Beatrice's laughter in the room, sense her determination in each stroke of ink, as if the wisdom of those pages were being passed directly into her own craft. When Clara finally stepped onto the stage, she did so with a newfound sense of confidence. She felt the spirit of the theatre in every gesture, as if Beatrice herself were guiding her movements, her words. The familiar creaks of the floorboards no longer made her anxious. They grounded her, reminding her that she was part of something greater. The other actors looked at her with recognition, not just of her performance, but of something else, something almost nostalgic. Her energy was vibrant, a reminder of the golden days that this old theatre had once known. The staff too watched her from the wings, smiling knowingly. Clara felt she was not alone, but standing in the footprints of someone who had helped build the soul of this place. The applause that came at the end was not just for her, but for the heritage of the craft she had rediscovered, and for the theatre itself, a place that was, once again, alive.